I think any good tool should acknowledge their shortcomings. And like the shortcoming in TanSec form is that it's verbose and the API is a little esoteric. If you do things ideally, you have a hook factory, which is a crazy sentence on its own. And then the hook factory returns a hook that returns components. And at this point, you have to understand like three layers of React <laughs> to be able to, to like use this properly. And that's really esoteric and strange. But the benefit is that one, it's following the rules of React all the way through. Two, it has extreme type safety. Um, and, and sorry, further on the first point, it supports React compiler day one, like out of the box supports it, no problem. So it even has integration with Next.js and uh, Tensec Start and Remix, and, and we're looking to expand to other frameworks. It's framework agnostic, and it has a lot of features that allow you to, to do like asynchronous deep bouncing. Um, we're thinking about doing grouping um, so that you can have like stepper components where they have their own individual submission logic. I think that there's there's a lot of advantages for going the route that we ended up going.